only have two or maybe three Dutch friends, but they themselves don't really identify Dutch because they also lived in different parts of the world. <laughs> Tell the fun, fun Dutch fact. So, carrots normally are purple or yellow. And there's this kind of urban legend that I've heard, which is the reason they're orange is to celebrate William of Orange. Um, I don't know how true it is, but it's one of those weird little facts you pick up on the internet sometimes. The carrots are orange because the Dutch growers are like, yes, we will make these orange. This is the pinnacle of the Dutch culture, everybody. Yeah. And and hashtag not sponsored, also, but you can sponsor. <laughs> I love to say translate this with pepper nuts. Yeah. Alright, what's, what's okay, the story? What the you know what all the you know all the olibola stands? Yeah. They're owned by the Kermis people! So what they do is they run the Okay, so to explain. Olibola is literally fried dough. Okay. It means oil ball. Right. Yeah. You can have an oil ball with stuff inside it, okay. but it's an oil ball. Midwest. It's New the Midwest yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. Midwestern thing. And I was chatting with a friend who is friends with his local olibola lady. So here's another thing about Dutch culture is you get to know your olibola people because okay. you go there like every day because they're they're legally only available yeah. from like mid December to mid January. Okay. Then no longer allowed. I swear I see them already in November. That's a lie. They're are out they already there. out in November? I swear, yeah. It's like illegal yeah. Tell me that. <laughs> olibola people. The Den Haag has permitting oh, okay. from like early December, mm -hmm. maybe maybe early December, but to mid-January. Don't let you know that there are permits for olibola. I was chatting with the olibola lady. And I asked her, what do you do when you're not oliboling? <laughs> and she was like, oh. I own a couple Kermis rides. We go, we tour like Germany and the Netherlands being carnies. And I was like, okay. That makes sense actually. Yeah. About it. Yeah, right? All right, Emma, three words, let's go. Koningsdag, gezelligheid, nuchter. And can you describe gezelligheid? <laughs> gezelligheid is like the feeling you have when you're with friends or with family, when you're having a good time. Warm, fuzzy feeling that comes with being with loved ones. And nuchter. Nuchter just means grounded, because I think Dutch people are very down-to-earth people. I think one of our favorite sayings is do normal, which just means like be normal. So I think that very like down to earth groundedness is very Dutch. Thank you. Oh. Okay, freedom, um, rain. Uh, freedom. I'm kidding. Uh, it's pretty international, I'd say. Oh man, pressure's on. Alright, um, what do you think about the Netherlands? Describe, three words. Three words. Uh, bikes, nature, sustainability. Deeper than you think. That's more words than three. 
but it's deeper than you think. For a flat country that's so small, it's got a lot of layers.